Okay, so I've got the, got the grill in. Pretty close to being done with it. I, everything welded together. Now I'm going to modify my panel uh, that fits over the, the, the front area here. It's going to lap over the grill. And originally I had it made for the stock grill, but my new one follows the shape of the bumper. So the angle was different. So I cut off the, the face of it and then I made this piece. I'm going to weld on there. And that will go right over top and hook underneath the, the grill. You can see that. Change the angle. Okay, so it'll hook hook over the edge of the grill, the, the top slap. Gonna look like that and go over the top of that engine panel. And so when I put put the engine panel on or put this uh, grill or radiator cover on, I'll have to slide it in and then put my fasteners in. That'll eliminate any fasteners on the face of this. Should make it really nice and clean. Um, if you can see, I'll weld that right on there. Right with, I've got that radius that comes down. That'll that'll finish off really nice. Should look good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make another one for the for the driver's side, and then I'll splice them in the center and weld it, and then I'll weld it onto this panel, and I'll be done. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I made that. Pretty, that's a fairly simple piece, but I'm going to show you how I made it. Take a flat piece of metal, sheet metal, it's a 22 gauge sheet metal, and I marked an inch and three eighths and then three quarter, and then that's my, my lip on the bottom. So I'll, I'll just bend that in the break. second one, which is my lip. So this is my storage room. Um, I put a few, few of my parts in here, parts that are, that are done and just odd and stuff, a lot of junk. My bead rollers in this room and those are all my dies. So I'm gonna run a, a, half, a half round edge on this. two passes. So 
Let's get that rounded edge there. You can put more of the radius on there if you'd like. But I put two, ran it over two passes on the first piece. See, it's got a nice edge here. I'll go cut that and get it ready to weld together. So cut the end. I've got this uh, both pieces put in there, and I use shims. The same shims that I've been using for spacing the grill, which are five eighths. So I've got everything uh, just sitting in there and I'm going to mark the centers. I've got both ends cut, fitting the, the angle of the fingers. And cut the center. Ten snips on that cut. Take it over on the sander and cut them up yet, and they'll be ready to weld together. If you can see that. So I'm going to touch them up, weld those, weld that seam together, and then I'll be back. So I tacked it together. And then I took, took a uh, uh, scotch Bright on a disc and cleaned all the epoxy off so I can weld it on, cleaned it up good. Now I'll take my piece that I made, slide it over there. place, clamp it in place and attack it. It's got a little bit of a compound curve, so I need to weld it in place, um, otherwise it may be off just a little bit. Nice equal margin running with the grill, just like another slab. I'm going to take the, I'm going to use my MIG welder and just tack a few places here. I use the MIG welder a lot, um, it's just one handed, I can tack in a few spots. I may make it or I may 
TIG it. I haven't decided yet when I'm done. I'll get her stuck in place with the MIG now. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'll remove the panel and I'll cut along the back side right on that edge and I'll weld it from the back. That'll give me a nice clean line here. And I'll, I'll probably just make weld the whole thing. Um, some guys don't, don't have a TIG welder and you can, MIG, you can MIG most of this stuff. You don't need a TIG welder. I put a couple more tacks in there just to make sure it's in there good. You want to leave your panel cool so it doesn't work. Seen that? Give you a close close up shot here. I just tack ran a few tacks in there to get it all squared up. It'll uh It'll stay in place now. So you see that lip hooks right under that first fin. Real nice. That'll that'll be solid. I don't have to put any fasteners in that way. This comes off. This, this should slide. The whole unit should slide forward now. Should be a nice, nice setup. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it, and then I'll cut the back off and start welding it, and I'll show you some more pictures. So I went ahead and welded the, that seam before I pulled it out, and I used the MIG welder for that. That will sand right off. Here's my settings. I usually, when I MIG weld, I go a little hotter. Um, that's 20. That's 20 gauge setting. I'm using 22 gauge material, so just a personal preference. 
We'll go ahead and sand that off and show you what it looks like. So I used the 80 grit disc. And uh, scotch bright over that. So that's ready to paint. Okay, I'm going to pull the panel out and cut it right along this edge on the back side and weld it. Got that nice roll right here. That roll will keep it uh, nice and flat.